So in the distru- in the distractions, <laughs> in the instructions, Michelle here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little crochet project. Now you might be thinking, what's a little crochet project? Literally a little crochet project. My sister actually bought this for me for Christmas. He's like a little reindeer deer. Opened it up. I'm like, that's cute. But why did you get me uh, the reindeer one? And she's like, because it will go with your room if you put it on a little plaque and then it will look like a little deer head. And I'm like, you genius. You're a genius. That's what we're doing. We went to Lens Mills. Lens Mills has a lot of yarn. It has a lot of fabric, but they also sell clothes, home items, random stuff. And they also have a lot of crafting supplies. So I picked this up, which is just a little plaque that I'm going to attach this guy to it. My plan for the plaque though does need a good sanding. So I'm going to sand it. Also, I am going to put drill two little holes in here because I'm not going to glue this guy to here. I want to put a little string like through him and then in the back and then tie it off. So that way if I want to take him off here. He's not like permanently stuck to this guy, right? Part of me was like, oh, you should like, you know, put a nice wood stain on here. I don't know if I want to put a wood stain on there because that usually takes a little bit time to dry. Also, I don't know if I have wood stain. My dad might have some in the garage actually. I'll have to see. If not, I have some brown paint that I might just paint this brown. That's fine. So let's see what's in this kit. I've never done a kit before. Everything that I've crocheted has either been inspired by something or I just make it up as I go along because that happens a lot. But I've never done a kit, so I'm really excited to like do one. This project looks like it's going to be fairly simple. Then again, I mean, it does say for beginners, but you know me, things just derail themselves on the simplest thing. Oh, so you get a crochet hook. So again, this has a ton of stuff in here. Also, this, I'm not sponsored by them. I would like to be sponsored by them because they have really cute stuff, but here I am. I got a four millimeter crochet hook. I'm not too sure if I'm going to use this one or not because I'm not the biggest fan on the grippies. I know you're supposed to have them. They're ergonomical, ergonomical, ergonomical. I don't but you know, it's better for your hand motions, but I don't do that. I just like having the, the plain aluminum ones, but you know, it comes, it comes with a hook. If you buy one of these, you don't have to buy a hook. It comes with one. It comes with the yarn. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. It actually comes with little three little stitch markers. I love that. I never used stitch markers before. And then when I started using them, I'm like, oh, that's why everybody uses them because they're so easy to use and they help me keep track of where I am. Even started the little magic circle for you so you don't have to do it. That's nice of them. Even though I, I don't mind doing magic circles anymore. Off white kind of color, which is the body. And then we have this brown, which is the horns. Oh, and then there's this little white here for these little like, he has these little things right here. I don't think I'm going to put them on because I want it to maybe just look more like a head and less like of a whole body. So I don't think I'm going to use these. I don't think I need them. Oh, and then it comes with a little stuffing bag because you gotta, you know, stuff them. The wee wobbly bits. That's adorable. It has a little thing back here that you can scan and it will tell you how to make them. Some black thread. The eye... Oh my God. Why would I hold it like that? Am I a fool? Yes. Yes, I am a fool. It has the eyeball parts. I'm going to put them back in the bag. I don't trust myself. It comes with a nice steel aluminum, not too sure, yarn needle. Because a lot of times in these projects, they always give you like everything plastic, but this is like top quality. Well, maybe not top, top quality, but I love using the metal yarn needles for all my projects because um, I have a tendency of making the plastic ones snap. I've done it several times. So I love the metal yarn needles. All right. So that looks like that is it for all the things in this bag. Guess it's just time to uh, start crocheting him. I don't know how it's going to go. So I'll just show you the process. It's not a tutorial. So I'm not going to show you like all the steps. I'm just going to, you know, show you, I guess, a little bit of uh, how I feel about this. And yeah, also his name's Ralph. Ralph Wiggum is like one of my favorite characters on The Simpsons. So love that. Okay. So I don't know how to film this. Like I don't know how to film it because everything is so small. So it's not like me taking like three days to make a piece and then showing you, I'm probably going to get it done in an hour. So I'm not a hundred percent sure how really to like film this part. The only other way is to film it. Like I would do a tutorial where it's just like my hands in the screen and me crocheting, but like that's like super boring unless like I'm actually showing you how to make something and I'm not, it's, it's just, you know, me making something. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make each part 
and then show you what it looks like and then if I have any troubles in between which I normally do then I'll show you what's happening first I have to go and scan the thing and like read the directions because <laughs> it's not something I can just make up as I go along like most of my projects I think I have to start off with this guy make the body of it and then make the nose and then make the ears and then the eyes and antlers and whatnot so I think I'll find the instructions do the steps and come back and just kind of like give you little tiny updates because again this project is like literally the smallest crochet project I've ever done besides you know like cup cozies and stuff but like this thing is only gonna be like that big so it's not like a huge project or anything so let I'm just gonna get right into doing it I did actually try to use the uh, hook that they gave you it's a really nice hook so I find with crochet hooks you have to like wear them in and this one obviously is not worn in so it's a little I don't want to say sticky but that's how it feels like when I'm crocheting so I'm just moving over back to uh I think this is arrow yeah I'm just moving back to the uh, arrow one because I just like how it crochets so I got this done this didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to the next step is it wants me to attach the eyes so the eyes are and they're actually pretty easy just to snap on they're just like doll eyes or like you know teddy bear eyes so there's that you know what this is looking like this is looking like um what's that PlayStation game from like 2009 you know with the, the little head guy oh I can't remember what it was I really love that game well, it happened. I, uh, I did make a little oopsie. It's fine. I just don't read instructions. Well, what I didn't do is I didn't stuff the piece and I just started to do that. I just need to undo what I did, stuff the piece, and then, then close it up. Cause you know, it's me. So, you know, yeah. Now I can close them up. This is how far I've gotten. He's looking okay. He's looking cute. What I didn't realize is that when you start at the, this is where I started. I thought I was starting at the bottom and going to the top, but I was actually starting from the top and going down to the bottom, which makes more sense because the bottom, you know, doesn't look as nice as the top does. That's a good learning experience. The next step is doing the ears. And then I believe the ears, the snout, then the antlers. So yeah, looking to work on the little ears now. Those are the little ears. Ears, fold them in half like this and then I have to attach them onto here okay so the ears are on I, I did my best and I guess it's time to do the snout and then eventually the antlers it was kind of hard for me to like get the ears level but it's coming out pretty cute I'm working on the nose right now I feel like I followed the instructions but it still looks a little weird so I am going to redo it and then do it again and then uh, and then attach it so I put the nose on, it's kind of looking like a cow right now, but I put the nose on and because this is a Christmas one, I think they wanted to make it look more like Rudolph. So they gave you the red for the nose. I don't know if I want to just go with brown, just as like a traditional deer nose and make it less Christmassy. So I think I might do the antlers now. If I have enough brown, I think I might just do the nose brown just so that way it's like a regular deer and not, not a Christmassy one. You know what I mean? All right, I finished the antlers and I do have enough brown that I am gonna put that on the nose. And now I just have to attach the antlers to this little guy's head. Like I said, I think I'm going to do brown for the nose. This is what he looks like. Does he look exactly like the photo? No, he looks a little different, but that's okay. I wanted it to look more like a deer head than the whole body of a deer. Another thing I did is instead of putting the little white bits here, cause I, don't know, I just feel like they would have gotten lost and I just didn't feel like it. I just added them in the ears, although I feel like you can't really see them anyways. We have part one of this project done. I still have to do part two, and that would be attaching him. Like, look how cute. Look how cute that looks. It's getting a little late today day and I have to go in the garage to do it and our garage is more like a barn so the lighting isn't great. Also it's like the beginning of March so it's still kind of cold out so I'd rather do it in the daytime. Tomorrow what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sand this down and I'm gonna see if my dad has any wood stain and then I still need to drill the holes. So I think I might do the drilling first because if say I drill the holes and the thing cracks and breaks on me at least I didn't put the rest of the effort in and then I can go to Michael's and maybe buy another one because I got this one at Lens Mills for uh, $2.29. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow and then we can attach this guy and then uh, we'll hang him up somewhere on my wall. Yeah, so that's it for today. Tomorrow, working on part two.
So I did get my dad to help me drill the holes for the guy. I mean, I could have done it, but I also, I didn't want to do it. All right, I'm in the garage now. It's time to sand, sand this guy here. Uh, so I'm gonna sand it and then I didn't find any uh, varnish. And now I'm thinking, I kind of want it varnished and I don't want to paint it, which means I'm gonna have to go to Michael's. But yeah, so I'm gonna do some sanding today. <laughs> Now, instead of going to Michael's, I ended up going to Canadian Tire because they had the stain that I wanted on sale. And there was a lot more options at this store than there was at Michael's. I ended up going with this stain here, which I think is think is okay. But then while I was there, I realized that there was a new thrift store in this town. So uh, I had to go check it out because it's me. And if I see a thrift store that I haven't been to before, I need to go to there. So I did. I did try this coat on and I thought it was gorgeous, but the shoulders were a little bit too big and I wasn't the biggest fan of the color on me. This place had so many things. This place had so many things. I did go out and I got this wood stain here. It's a gel stain. It is called chestnut and semi-transparent. I don't know. That's what we're gonna do. The most I know about wood stain comes from either the sorry girls or diy danny that's about all i know about stains so we're just gonna do it i got a rag again uh don't know what i'm doing so we'll just cut this rag to get some gloves oh i probably should open this up what does it tell me to do okay some gloves on it's dark Okay, I think that's good, looking like that right now compared to the white it was, right? I think I'm gonna let it sit and may maybe do another coat later on today. Uh, but yeah, it's not, it's not looking too bad. All right, so this little guy is done like you've seen and I did go and wood stain the little plaque in the garage. So it's in there right now. I'm gonna let it dry for a few hours and then I think I'm gonna restain it before I go to bed, even though it's probably gonna be cold, but whatever. Just wanted to be a little bit darker. I just kind of wanted to show you the thrift finds. I know, this is a crocheting video, but yet I found a thrift store and I went into it. This tee here, it says Ontario Parks, and it is actually from the Ontario Parks. I mean, I am from Ontario. Whenever I see any type of like park type of clothing, I think of like Parks and Rec and I will buy it. I'm a big fan of Parks and Rec. So anything that like, you know, is kind of like Parks and Rec, kind of like where I live, combined together, you know. I think this is gonna be such a cute t-shirt and yeah. Oh, this was also $4. Like I was just gonna buy that and the lady's like, we have debit, but you have to pay $10 or more. And I was just like, well, I guess I could find something for $10. And I did. I actually found this jacket here. It is suede. I have been looking for one of these like old man type of jackets forever. But the problem when you buy them in the men's size, they never zip up over the hips. If they do, the shoulders are like massive. And I'm not looking for that. So I actually found this one here. It's from Bum Equipment, which I'm pretty sure was a Walmart brand back in the day. And it is a 1X, but it fits more like a large, like it does not look like it'd be a 1X. And it's just like that oversized jacket that I've been looking for. Usually I look for them in the men's section. They never have it over there. And so when I found this one, I'm like, oh, this one, this one can work for me. I know I don't need any more jackets, but I wanted one like this for so long. And every time I found a men's one, it just fit really weird. There's always just so many problems with the ones that I would find, but this one actually works. I'm like, oh, like how much is it? And she's like, well, $20, but I feel like in a good mood today. So I'll give it for you for 10. Okay, anyways, back into uh, working with this little guy. The next day the stain was finally done drying so it was time to attach him to the plaque. I just used the same color as the body because I had a lot of that yarn left over. Just used the yarn needle they gave me to sew him through the little holes on the plaque. He's all done. He looks pretty gosh darn cute. I think it turned out perfect. I had the plaque in mind. I didn't know actually how big he was gonna turn out, 
I think he actually looks really cute on this plaque. I think it's like the perfect size. I would like to give it a nice varnish so that way it's very glossy and it looks, you know, it looks cuter. Varnish doesn't make things look cuter, but it does. It does. So that's why, as you can see, I put little ties. So that way I can just snip that off, take him off, do the backing, make it look however I want it to make, and reattach him back on. So that's, that's one of the main reasons why I opted out from like not permanently having him attached to here so I can always make changes if I want. Could my staining of wood be better? Yes. This is the first time I've ever stained something. Also, yes. Let me have this. But yeah, I think he looks so adorable. There's a little thing with his nose, but it's fine. This project was so easy to do. Maybe a little over two hours, not even two hours to make this guy. Not including the sanding and the staining of the back, but like the actual crochet project. Really easy. So let me just uh, hang him up on the wall again. You saw the reveal shots, but I had him hung up here, but you can't really see him. So I think I'm going to put him here. Yeah. So you can see him. So I think that's good. I did move this art you never got to see it, so I would like to put this somewhere else. This is so cute. I thrifted this like so long ago. I know, it's a video about him, but I'm talking about how much I love this. Yeah, I just have to find a new place for this. For anyone who is interested in making these kits, I just want to show you how much of the supplies I still have left. You get to keep the hook and you get to keep the needle. That's amazing because here's the thing. Not only do I break plastic yarn needles, I also lose any yarn needle I have and that includes sewing needles and sewing pins. I'm always losing them and then I I find them at the most inconvenient times, like I step on them or I sit on them. Anyways, it's always good to have them. As for yarn, I still have this much yarn for him. So in the destruction, in the destructions, <laughs> in the instructions, it tells you to leave like a long tail. You can leave a long tail because there's a lot of yarn. What I realized is that the black yarn here is that if you're making it for a baby or a pet, instead of using the hard button eyes, you actually just make the eyes out of this black yarn. The red never even used it. The white. I have this much left of it. it. Didn't come with a lot of weight because there wasn't a lot of use for it besides like, you know, the chest area on him right there. But I decided not to do that and I put it in his ears instead. So there's still that left. The brown kind of unraveled itself, but there's still a lot of brown. What I actually love about this kit is that it gives you way more yarn than you need. And that's great because one, I hoard yarn. It's going out of business. Sometimes you're like, oh, should I have a little extra yarn here? Because I do need that extra yarn, but is it going to bite me in the butt later on when I don't have enough yarn? Trust me, you're going to have enough yarn for this entire project, which is great. And the fact that I have extra yarn now is also great. I love yarn. A few tips if you do want to make one of these, because they come in so many. Di I know I feel like I'm trying to sell you this product. And I'm not even getting paid for it. If you yourself want to make one of these guys, definitely download the instructions and read through the instructions before you start because that could be a little bit of a problem but they actually have step-by-step -step videos if you need more help with it but yeah other than that this project is super easy and i love him he looks so cute the little Ralph. But if I put like a little plaque underneath him that said Ralph, that would have been adorable. That does it for this video. I know it was a very kind of quick crochet video, but I wanted to make this. And I wanted to, you know, show you how I made it. So here I am. But that will do it. If you're new to my channel, like sewing, thrifting, crafting, and crocheting, why not hit the subscribe button? You can also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I think that's it. So y'all have a good day now.